Lingapura, or Chokkoki, as it is known in Old Khmer, was an important capital city in the 10th century of the Khmer Empire during the Angkor period from the 9th to 15th centuries, situated at a distance of approximately 90 kilometers northeast of Angkor, along with the royal road network that connected it to Koh Khe and on the Wat Pu in southern Laos. Lingapura, city of Lingus in Sanskrit, Chok Koki in Khmer, is now known as Koh Khe. The capital was established by King Jayavarman IV in 921 CE, who ruled officially from 928 CE until 941 CE, followed by his son, Harshavarman II, who reigned briefly until 944 CE. The densely forested site containing a total of 169 archaeological remains, including 76 temples, as well as civil structures, ponds, dikes, and ancient roads. The archaeological site of Kokke displays a well-planned alignment around Prasat Tam and the Rahal, its grand artificial water reservoir. Along the central northern side of the ancient city lay the Prasat Tam complex, with its pyramidal temple of Prasat Prong rising to a height of 35 meters, the only one in Southeast Asia to be dedicated to Shiva. Prasat Bantier Pir Chowan, dedicated to Brahma, is located to the southeast, and Prasat Chen to Vishnu is in the southwest. All these aspects reveal adherence to Trimurti, the Hindu trinity. In designing the layout of his capital, Jayavarman IV applied the Hindu Vastu Shastra principles for a sacred capital city on Earth, bringing to Cambodia new architectural and artistic styles, as well as inscriptions featuring larger scale and dynamism than used previously in Khmer history. The best examples are the dancing Shiva, with a presumed height of 6 meters at Prasat Kraham, the recently discovered ensembles at Prasat Chen depicting scenes of the Mahabharata, the last fight in the battle of Kurukshetra between Bhima and Duryodhana, and the Ramayana, the fight between Valin and Sugriva. Its iconography is unique and therefore has been designated as the Kokke style. Another exceptional characteristic of Kokke is the development of complex techniques of water management, which, together with the built structures of Kokke, created a holy body of water in the middle of the city. The Rahal was formed through the collection of sacred water flowing from satellite temples around it that were integrated these temples into a homogeneous sacred landscape. Koke suffered from the ravages of time and by severe looting during the Cambodian War, the 1970s to 1990s. The area became isolated and was highly vulnerable to looting, as well as damage from weathering and encroachment of vegetation, causing degradation of the monuments and in some cases their entire collapse. The protection of the site is secured by the Cambodian government. The National Authority for Priya Vihear has been making efforts to preserve its value and authenticity as an outstanding historical monument. Joint efforts by the Cambodian government and international communities have recently secured the return of some statues, while efforts are underway to find and bring all the artifacts that are unaccounted for. For more than two decades, the archaeological site of Koh Khe served as the royal capital of the Khmer Empire, and it had long been proposed that after the royal seat moved back to Angkor, the city and its surroundings were virtually abandoned as the capital, but the local people were still living at the site until today. Koke is a living heritage site that covers 8,789.43 hectares and 259 households, with 816 people living within the buffer zone of the site. Today, the ancient temples of Koh Khe continue to be considered sacred and used as places for worship by the local population.
Every year, local villages worship the spirit related to Niang Tun Satra and the White Elephant King, performing rituals nearby the foot of his tomb. Stunning temples and water features in a majestic natural setting, as well as the continuing religious and agricultural practices of its local communities, illustrate the potential value of the archaeological site of Kok Ke. The integrity and authenticity of Kok Ke have been well preserved and protected, and efforts are underway to safeguard this magnificent site.